I did think of you, and you did such a deep dive on Messi and trying to understand the importance of this, uh, Maradona, that shadow, two different personalities, and um, what did you take away, or what were you taking away from this World Cup Messi-related? I mean, I was watching last night thinking that, uh, or watching yesterday morning, I apologize, just thinking that, I don't know, this sounds weird and slightly overdramatic, but I mean, I think it's true that he had bought his way back home. That, I mean, for people who don't know, he's from a, a town called Rosario in Argentina, and he uh, left when he was 12 or 13 years old. And the reason he left is Messi would not be Messi were it not for medical intervention. Like he needed a regimen of growth hormone, or they said he was going to end up being, you know, very, very, very sh shorter than he is now. And uh, the club that he played for in Argentina or the Argentinian Football Federation refused his family's begs, frankly, to pay for this. And Barcelona stepped up and was like, we got it. And he moved to Barcelona and became Leo Messi. And so there are two things going on. One, when he needed his hometown most, they weren't there. And then on the other side, uh, people I like just idolized Diego Maradona. And you just couldn't have two different figures than sort of quiet, graceful, brilliant uh, uh, Messi and wild, out of control uh, Maradona. And, you know, not to deal in generalities, but, you know, Maradona very closely fit into the national id of Argentina in the way that anybody that's sort of a gunslinger in America evokes sort of the great American myth. That's why we loved Brett Favre. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Maradona fit into that and Messi didn't. And, you know, there, in an, in Spain, they thought he was Argentinian. In Argentina, they thought he was Spanish. And he was just a man without a home. His style. You know, you see Mbappe, you know, he, he is... That's raw athleticism. He's he's he attacks. He's an animal, but Messi is sort of that water torture. That here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. It just keeps, 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 and then all of a sudden the faucet opens there. But how would you, in your eloquent eloquent way, uh, describe him? Well, you know, it, it, the thing I keep thinking about is the player he was yesterday was not who he was at the very beginning. I mean, there were flashes of it. But, you know, if you go on YouTube and, and, and search Messi doesn't dive, you will see these incredible moments of athleticism. And he's just a guy who, at the end of the day, like all of those athletes that we admire, whether it's Jordan or Tom Brady or whomever, uh, he wanted to win. And as, you know, age and time caught up with him, he changed his game to still be able to play. And, you know, that guy on that field, I mean, first of all, no one should have lost that game. That might be the best game I've ever watched in my life. And we were screaming at our television. And uh, But that guy who walked off that field of Victor uh, earned that, you know, in and, and like a very real way that I found deeply emotional, that like he earned that. 